Hey guys, welcome back to My Fat Life. This is video number four, our last video. Aww. I know, right? I'm sad too. If you haven't had a chance to check out videos one and through three, head on over to UAB UREX Fitwell website and check them out. So in March, we were hit with a unfortunate pandemic. It had everybody in an uproar. We were all scared. We didn't know what was happening. And then all of a sudden, everything started shutting down. Crazy, right? The next thing you know, the gyms shut down. OMG. I had a complete come apart. The gym is shutting down. The gym is like my second home. Now keep in mind, I'm a woman who has been in the gym for five to six days out the week in some shape, form, or fashion for the last three or four years. So to have my second home shut down, I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I had to improvise. I still needed to find a way to get my workout in. I started looking through my fitness inspirations on YouTube and Instagram, and I came across a total body kettlebell workout. What is a kettlebell? This is a kettlebell. A cast iron weight with a single handle. Kettlebells are good for strength training. And even though there are other weights you can use for strength training, such as dumbbells, kettlebells tend to be better because of the handle. It gives a person various range of motions during their movements. I researched, I learned, I watched, and now I have a few kettlebell workouts that I would like to share with you guys. Let's go. So I'm back at nine rounds with my guy Dom. We're gonna show you a few kettlebell workouts that I did during quarantine and that I still do to this day. The first workout is a kettlebell squat. So you'll stand with your feet shoulder width apart, your kettlebell chest height, you'll hinge at the hips and then drive through your heels. All right guys, the second workout is called a halo. You're gonna stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You grab your kettlebell by the horn. Your horns are down, your ball is up. You bring your kettlebell up to eye level and you go around the head. You rotate around the head. When the kettlebell goes behind your head, the horns are up. This particular workout works your core and your chest. All right guys, the third exercise is a kettlebell swing. We pretty much all heard of a kettlebell swing and if you haven't, you'll learn today. The kettlebell works your glutes, your quads, and your lower back. And just a little tip, if you stand with your feet Outwards, the kettlebell swing works your quads more. If you stand with your feet forward, it works your glutes more. All right, let's get to it. You're gonna stand shoulder width apart, kettlebell up, your swing, you're gonna hinge at the hips, swing to your kettlebell to chest height, use the momentum from your swing, from your hip thrust, I'm sorry, use the momentum from your hip thrust to swing your kettlebell. All right, guys, lastly, we have the sit up to press. You're gonna hold the kettlebell in your hands. You're gonna lie back on the floor. And when you sit up, you're going to press upwards. This exercise works your core and your arms. Go. All right, guys, that was some of my favorite kettlebell workouts that I did during quarantine and I also still do to this day. They're easy enough for beginners, and they also can give them the more advanced person a uh, run for their money as well. And don't worry, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use alternatives. You can use a gallon of water, try a bag of sugar, or even a sandbag. Be creative. We don't know how long this pandemic is gonna last, and it's already allowed, it's already stopped us from working out in the beginning. Let's not let it continue to stop us from moving our bodies and staying active. As always guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check out the UAB UREC Fitwells blog site if you want a little bit more detail into what we talked about today. Again, stay active and wear your mask.